If you're a guitar player and you're into MIDI, today's episode is for you. If you love using MIDI, you already know that you can hit one button on your MIDI controller and a whole host of changes can happen across your pedal board. One of the last things and the simplest things you ever really needed to worry about or think through is how to connect these pedals. All you had to do was get a couple of MIDI cables or five pin DIN cables as they're also known and connect up your pedals one into the other just like you're connecting up your series pedals on your pedal board and MIDI was connected. Your biggest concern was really how to program them. A few years ago though, pedal makers started moving away from these bigger connectors, the five pin DINs, and started moving towards quarter inch TRS or even eighth inch. And these connectors now resulted in a whole new way or cables that you needed to connect them. Things are getting more and more complicated on the hardware side of MIDI. Today, we are going to cover what cables you need for the different types of pedals on the market. A ton of companies are now switching over to this smaller form factor. Whether it's Maris, you can see behind me, Holly, that Etch-A-Sketch pink pedal, that is a brilliant pedal, I have to say. Or even Chase Bliss, they also use quarter inch TRS to connect their MIDI pedals. Or any other MIDI modded pedal, like you can see on the desk here with the POG and the L cap. Both have these MIDI connections on the side that are not over five pin DIN. We need to make sure that you get the correct cable or method of connecting these into your MIDI chain the first time so you aren't troubleshooting for hours and hours wasting your time. Let's get into it. I'll show you how to wire up these pedals correctly. Let's start on the screen. You'll see a standard MIDI cable. You'll also notice you actually only need to use pins two, four, and five, two being a common ground. So you'll always have pin two going to the ground of whatever the other connector is on the other side of the cable. So we have the standard MIDI cable on the screen. Now we add in a TRS plug, whether that is a quarter inch or an eighth inch, they're kind of wired up the same and you need to know the same information. But really quickly, you can see that there is going to be a problem here. What is the standard way, if there is one, of connecting a five pin DIN to a TRS plug? Pin two will go to sleeve. That is a little bit of a given, but pin four and pin five, do those go, does pin five go to tip or does pin five go to ring? Does pin four go to tip or ring? There is actually no standard here and different pedal companies, unfortunately, wire these up very differently. So you actually need to go to your user manual and find out if it is MIDI type A or MIDI type B. More info in the link below here, but I'm gonna show you both options and you can find both options on our website on the MIDI cable designer. So after you've checked your manual and you will see under MIDI connections, it will say MIDI type A or MIDI type B for any TRS based connections. Now you know what type of cable to get. Again, the different diagrams are on screen so you know how to wire up a MIDI type A how to wire up a MIDI type B, and the last little kink in the chain, Chase Bliss, and maybe another company or two, but Chase Bliss is the main one that I know of. They have their own way of wiring this up as well. They actually only use two lines. I'm just gonna put this on screen so you guys can see it and know exactly what I'm talking about, but Chase Bliss has their own way, so we'll call it the Chase Bliss way, MIDI type A, MIDI type B. If you have more than one pedal though that has a TRS connection on it, there is another way that you can go about this that may simplify things depending on the pedals that you have. And that is, you can see it on the screen above, is a MIDI splitter. So the one I have in my hand is by Disaster Area. Tons of companies make MIDI splitters these days. The good thing about this is if you have a TRS quarter inch MIDI pedal like Chase Bliss, you can often just use normal TRS cables and the MIDI splitter nowadays can actually configure what pins are sent to the pedal on the other end. So you can just use a standard TRS cable and configure per outlet 
what that pedal is actually gonna see. Or you can send it MIDI A, MIDI B, or often Chase Bliss as well. So that makes things a little bit more handy using a MIDI splitter if you have multiple pedals. If you just have one though, you can put it at the end of your chain, use the appropriate cable, and you can save yourself a little bit of money. If you do not wanna solder your own cables, you can buy them off of our website, and we have these all on our MIDI cable designer, link above or in the description below. Hopefully today has been helpful and it has demystified a little bit of the MIDI connections you need to make on your board. In short, get the correct cable, make sure you double check in the user manual. If it doesn't say there for one reason or another, email them, email us, we'll try and find out together and make sure that your board is up and running in no time. It's great being back after a long hiatus from videos. We'll see you guys very soon for another video on the Goodwood Audio YouTube channel.